Welcome back to Stuttering Sports. Today is February 15th, 2021, and the topic of the day is Carson Wentz, but more so the question, who the hell is trading for Carson Wentz? Over the past two, two and a half weeks maybe, there have been a lot of reports that the Bears are interested, the Colts are interested, that you know, Carson Wentz is garnering real, like, like real, real life trade interest, and I'm here to say, why? Who the hell is trading for Carson Wentz, and why are they putting themselves through that pain? So, I would like to start off with the destinations, of potential destinations, starting off with the most realistic one, the one that I could actually see working out, and that is the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts, with Phillip Rivers retiring, are in desperate need of a QB. They're desperate enough to go call the Eagles for Carson Wentz. And and before I get into the Colts completely, I would like to mention, for Carson Wentz's sake, I do think he needs a change of scenery. All right, the Eagles are constantly injured. Their offensive line is pretty much below average to begin with. Their defense is already below average, and they don't have weapons for shit. And they also drafted a QB in Jalen Hurts. So I do think Carson Wentz definitely needs a change of scenery, whether he is released or traded. So, so back to the Colts. The Colts, I could see this marriage working between Frank Reich. I don't know who the uh, the Colts quarterbacks coach is, but I know that he was the Eagles quarterback coach when Carson Wentz was successful. So I could see that pairing work, and Carson Wentz is is attached with a bad contract. The Colts do luckily have the cap space to take on that bad contract. So this does seem to work out. But the question is, what would you give up for Carson Wentz or what would you get to take on Carson Wentz? Because during the Stafford golf trade, you could tell Matthew Stafford is not worth two first round picks and one third round pick. Getting off Jared Goff's contract and bringing in Matthew Stafford is worth a third round pick and two first round picks. So when you have a bad contract, you 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 definitely should be attaching more to get him off of your books and stick him with another team. We literally just saw that. But I'm seeing these potential trade packages that are saying the Colts are giving up a first round pick and a second round pick. Why would the Colts do that? Why would any team do that? I say no way in hell the Colts give up a first round pick for Carson Wentz based off the mere fact that the Colts GM Chris Chris Ballard is way too smart to do that. The Colts are too good of an organization to throw away a first round pick to a broken quarterback and trying to fix him. If if anything, the Eagles should be attaching a third, potentially a fourth round pick to get off of Carson Wentz because the Colts, they could just draft a QB and build him up from there. Like It's not like the Eagles have any leverage in this. They don't have a leverage. Why are people saying teams are going to give up a first round pick for Carson Wentz? And what are these teams thinking? Like I could see what the Colts are thinking. I think that the Colts' destination does make sense. You have Frank Reich. Once again, I don't know what the quarterback's coach name is, but they were successful in Philadelphia. I get that. But why would you give up a first-round pick when you have other team needs, such as now left tackle with uh, with Anthony Cassanzo retiring? Why would you give that up? I do think the Colts with T.Y. Hilton, he should stay in Indianapolis. I don't see him leaving this year's uh, free agency. They have Michael Pittman. They have Jonathan Taylor. They have Naheem Hines. I think that the Colts have a good setup for Carson Wentz. I'm just disturbed by the idea of giving up a first-round pick for Carson Wentz when we've seen Guys like Jalen Ramsey, the best corner in football, get traded for two first-round picks. We have Jamal Adams, one of the best safeties in football, get traded for two first-round picks. Is Carson Wentz worth half of Jalen Ramsey? In my opinion, no. So, I don't see why the Colts would give up a first-round pick 
But let's pivot to a team that I think honestly would give up a first round pick, and that is the Chicago Bears. The Bears are assumingly abandoning Mitchell Trubisky. I don't think they're going to stick with each other. Apparently, the Bears are sticking with Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy. Actually, not even like apparently, they are sticking with them too, which is fascinating to me, but that is besides the point. That's that's a discussion for another day. So it's pretty much Mitchell's gone. Like, at least that is the assumption that I'm making, is that Mitchell's gone. I don't know Nick Foles' contract situation with the Bears, so I could see them just straight up cutting him. But the Bears are put in a spot where Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace have a lot of pressure on their shoulders right now. The Bears have a great defense. What they've been able to do with that defense is really cool to see. Khalil Mack has been a beast down there in Chicago. Matt Nagy being an offensive head coach, they need to do something new with their offense, and Matt Nagy needs to prove to whoever the owner is, is that, hey, keep me around, let me keep my job, and I could see them forcing a trade for Carson Wentz. I don't know if they'd give up a first, maybe a second plus a third, but I do think the Bears are probably the most likely spot for 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 Carson Wentz, and that is hilarious to me, that the Bears moving on from Mitchell Trubisky, like, yeah, this didn't work. We made the playoffs with Mitchell. Mitchell did win the MVP, the Nickelodeon's most valuable player, but it did but like the offense was definitely the problem. Matt Nagy being the offensive head coach is being given one last shot. Hey, just fix. And that one last shot is being tasked to fix Carson Wentz. I do unfortunately think that a bidding war is is, is either going to happen or is happening for Carson Wentz between the Bears and the Colts. I don't see a, a, a really realistic third team in this. Maybe I'm just blanking on some team that may trade for Carson Wentz. But I think this is a two-man race between the Colts and the Bears. I think Wentz would work with the Colts. Like It wouldn't be great by any means, but it'd be like, yeah, he's a respectable QB. Like He's not bad by any means. But the Bears, I unfortunately think Carson Wentz is going to be traded to the Bears for a package that is way too much for Carson Wentz. And then it's going to be a disaster. That is my opinion. I really hope that it isn't because I don't want to see people's careers fail because there are multiple people riding on this, Ryan Pace, Matt Nagy, and Carson Wentz. But I do unfortunately think that he will be traded to the Bears for potentially that 19th pick, which is hilarious to me. Because Carson Wentz throughout the entire season, the narrative was, oh my god, this this dude is broken. This dude stinks. He was benched for Jalen Hurts. He sucks. And now all of a sudden, it's like, well, you know, I mean, I would give up a first for Carson Wentz, which is just a ridiculous thought to me. But, but on the other hand, I'm also not a GM. I'm also not a coach. I'm just a fan watching from the outside. But yeah, I do think that Carson Wentz will unfortunately end up with the Bears because I don't think the Colts will overpay. I, I think that the Colts are too smart to do that. And the Bears are kind of in panic mode right now, so I do not think they are. So I do think Carson Wentz will end up being a Chicago Bear, which is hilarious. It's sad, but it's also hilarious to me. I hope it works out, but I don't think it will. That's going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend. Share it. Might as well share it with the Bears fan because it's kind of funny that uh, there's a real chance that they're going to overpay for Carson Wentz. That is hilarious to me. I do hope the Colts get him. And yeah, if you want to like stick around for other videos, I plan on doing this daily. So just hit the subscribe button and you'll watch them daily. Hopefully, maybe not. I don't really know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Have a fantastic day. Yeah.